If you struggle with complex PTSD or trauma, you need to understand this chart. I'm going to go as in-depth as I can on this. Might have to do multiple parts. We'll see how it goes. So this chart is from polyvagal theory, and it helps you measure the activation state of your parasympathetic and your sympathetic nervous system. These are part of your autonomic nervous system. More on that in another video. The green zone is your parasympathetic nervous system. This is rest and digest. This is what internal family systems call self-energy, where you're feeling calm, cool, collected, curious, compassionate, the eight C's of self. Above that is this yellow zone. The yellow zone is a sympathetic state. This is when you are turning on that activation energy. And this doesn't just have to be in relation to trauma, although it is activated in those cases as well. It could be as simple as going to work out. That puts you in a sympathetic state as well. And finally is this red zone where your parasympathetic nervous system turns back on yet again because it is too activated. It's hyperactivated, so it has to pull this lever and say, whoa, whoa, whoa chill out. Your heart's going to explode if you get any more activated. In a normal, healthy individual that hasn't experienced trauma, generally you're going from green to yellow, green to yellow throughout your day. Right? So you go work out and you go up into yellow and then you rest and recover afterwards and your muscles grow, you get back stronger. That is a normal and healthy way to navigate green, yellow, green, yellow. What happens over time, especially in relation to complex PTSD, which is persistent trauma over time, is that you go up to this yellow zone and you keep climbing, climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing because you are continuously getting activated and you never have a chance to recover. So imagine going to the gym and doing bench press or doing curls and never stopping, never, ever, ever stopping doing those curls. You just keep going forever. What eventually happens is your muscles, your brain shuts down your muscles because you are destroying your muscles. That's essentially what is happening in your brain. You see this in animals all the time. I'm sure you've seen a possum that plays dead. That's that freeze response. You get so activated, you move up into this freeze zone where you feel hopeless and helpless and um, your body starts to prepare for death. You're numb, you dissociate, you're feeling trapped. And worst of all, you probably feel an immense amount of shame that you're here. The kicker is when you get up to this red zone and you start to recover and do the things to heal yourself, you move back down into the yellow zone, right? What happens in the yellow zone, that is a sympathetic state. So you start to get anxious, you start to feel panic, you start to feel these powerful emotions like fear, terror, horror. And so you're like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. And it shoots you back up into the red zone. So now you're stuck in a cycle of red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. And you can never get back down to green. This is what makes healing trauma so difficult and not a straight line at all. It takes a toll on your mind, brain, and body. If you'd like to learn how to break out of this cycle, DM me the word release and I'll send you the guide I just created to do this.